Second day of qualifying at the Birchmont, the men building on their scores from yesterday, while the women had their one and only qualifying round this afternoon. It was a windy day at the golf course, which led to some tough conditions. Haley Tillette gets us started on her last hole of the day, sticks the approach to about five feet away. She shot a 90, and, or excuse me, an 80 and sits in fifth place. Taylor offered out punting for par on the 14th, drains it. She shoots an 86 to make the bracket. Her high school teammate, Abby Kelm, punting for birdie on the 18th, good the whole way. 79 for Kelm, puts her in fourth place. Emily Israelson, the 2016 winner, is your medalist with a 2 over 74. On the men's side, Lucas Johnson shot a 72 yesterday and today he kept the good times rolling. The approach on 16 sticks it to a few feet. He'd tap in for bird and shoot a 73 to finish in tied for 7th. Same hole, different birdie, Brennan Hockman rolls one in from under 10 feet away. Two 73s, two 73s give him a 10th place finish. And last year's champ gets a free ticket to the bracket, but Andrew Israelson, showing he could have qualified on his own, sticks it on 14, then rolls it in for the birdie. Chris Kerb is your medalist after two days of qualifying in the men's tournament with it two under par. In the senior division, Jeff Stottheim leads with three under par. Joe Burgess beats the field by four in the executive division. And James Antos and Doug Taylor tied atop the master's division. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.